Did you ever have trouble finding which plugins are actually worth it in DaVinci Resolve? Trust me, I've been there, okay? And today, I'm breaking down the top five plugins that I use on pretty much every one of my projects. So, let's get into it. First up, Gleam.ai. Now, this isn't a plugin, but it's rarely talked about on YouTube. And trust me, this thing is a powerhouse. This AI software will match your video to your audio. It also has features like title generator and it also has chapter generator. You can export subtitles. It's crazy. It's an all one platform. Now this is more of a talking head or YouTube editor type of software and it won't work on complex narrative projects, but it does save a lot of time in the editing room. The best part about this is it will let you export as an XML to bring it into your NLE and it will allow you to tighten it up. Gleam is mainly good for cutting a polished rough cut for your project and by no means it is perfect, but it does save a lot of time, okay? They have a free plan that lets you test it out with one hour processed media and it also allows you to have one free export. But honestly, if you're editing regularly, especially for YouTube or for narrative documentary style, you know, just talking heads, then go for the plus or even go for the pro. The plus is $15 a month and it gets you 10 hours of media process. And the pro version, it is $30 a month, which allows you to have 30 hours. And it also introduces premium support. I've never used a premium support, so I don't even know what that is. I have the plus version, okay? So check the link in the description box if you wanna give it a try. It is absolutely incredible, and I'm sure you guys will love it. Next up, let's talk about Motion Array. This one's an all-in-one plugin that's packed with effects. Pretty much everything you need to make your videos look professional. It's $29 a month, or it could be a bit cheaper if you pay annually. Whether you're doing corporate work, YouTube videos, or even narrative projects, Motion Array has you covered. The plugin has every effect they offer, but on the website, you can download templates and SFX. It has everything you need. Link is in the description box below if you wanna check it out. Now, let's talk about audio. This is one area a lot of us struggle with, and yes, Adobe Podcast does do wonders for dialogue cleanup, but sometimes it just feels way too clinical. And if you guys get what I mean by that, there is a plugin that will help you out, and it's called Soundly. Soundly Shape It is a plugin that works with DaVinci Resolve, and I personally use the free version, and it's been more than enough for me. It lets you shape and clean up your audio without needing to be an expert at all. They do offer a paid version, but again, honestly, everything adds up monthly and why spend the extra monthly cost when you can get what you need for free, right? This free one works great and definitely, you know, you guys need to check it out. It's in the description box below. Plugin number four, let's get into Magic Zoom, okay? This is the third version of Magic Zoom from Mr. Alec. For those of you who love fancy zoom transitions, Magic Zoom V3 is a no-brainer. It takes all the guesswork out of keyframing and lets you create clean zoom transitions in just a few clicks. You know, you just drag and drop it, and I personally use an adjustment layer, and that just allows me to get more flexibility when it comes to adding the transitions in. Lastly, and one of my favorite of all plugins is Kazi's Toolkit. This one's perfect for color grading. It's basically a supercharged false color tool that makes shot matching a breeze, okay? You get saturation, false color, and skin hue indicator all in one, and it's been a lifesaver and a game changer in my color grading process. Yes, it's $97 for it. 
which might seem like a lot, but it's worth every penny. And if you care about your grades, if you got the extra cash, you can even go to the full toolkit bundle, which is $776. And honestly, it has everything you need for color grading. Links in the description box below if you want to check it out. Kazi is an amazing colorist and he designed this so perfectly for you guys. And it's one of the best plugins in the world because you know, you'd spend countless hours on trying the shot match. And that's one of the most difficult challenges on every, every editor is trying the shot match between different cameras and the color charts make it simple. Those are my top five plugins for DaVinci Resolve 19. Each one of these have made my editing life so much easier and I'm sure they'll do the same for you. Remember, all the links are in the description below, so check them all out. And if this video has helped you out, hit that like button, subscribe for more tips, and as always, practice and create.